Hello and welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason, part-time gold prospector based in Wisconsin. That's Rigby. <laughs> He's my mining partner. And today we're at the beaches of Lake Superior in Michigan. We're going to see if we can't put a big pile of gold in the pan. Actually, tomorrow. Today, I'm just out prospecting around trying to find the best deposits. So when I come down here tomorrow with all my gear and my, and my help, Mrs. Wizard, Junior Mrs. Wizard, uh, we're going to focus on mining rather than prospecting. That's what it takes. Test, test, test. So let me show you around a little bit. There's Rick Baum. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. All right. Let me show you around a little bit. Now, I've been here a number of times, and every time I come down here, it changes just a little bit. The water comes up, and it crashes up on the bank here, and it knocks big chunks of landslide off here and it lands down on the bottom. Well, since I was here last, my deposit has been covered up by this huge chunk of land right here. My deposit is gone. Now you would think that that deposit would run parallel to the, to the beach here and just go on forever, but it doesn't. The gold bearing sand, black sand, etc., cetera, uh, kind of concentrates in certain areas along the beach for whatever reason wind direction wave direction uh, contours of the land and uh, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon one well you're that's pretty fortunate otherwise you gotta dig 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 and guess what happens when you dig there well all that sand falls down you got to keep digging for hours on end just to find out there's no black sand down in there now I went and I dug probably 30 holes just like that just like that one, and that one, and that one there, all the way down this darn beach. And uh, I just can't find what exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm moving up here where I know there's deposits of black sand. Uh, I don't know if the gold's quite as good. We'll find out tomorrow. But there are some pretty darn decent deposits here. Now you still have to dig for them. Let me get around this stuff here. Uh -huh. Like this one. Now trust me, that might not look like a huge <laughs> uh, pile of sand I moved, but it is. This all, every time you take a shovel out here, it crashes down. But look what I found. There's a nice layer of sand in there. Let me get the camera right up in there and you can see how red that stuff is. That's garnet sand mixed in with that stuff. That's a nice mixture right there. It's showing me that it's, it's carrying some of the lights which should be the garner, garnet sand I mean it's lighter it's heavier than this sand but it's still lighter than the black sand and the gold so I think somewhere in that layer right there which does go quite a ways down that way yet but it keeps filling in there's going to be some decent gold deposits and this one does run quite a ways if you go up here you can see the beach start to turn color here starting to turn black and red tinted that's all black sand and garnet sand. I will guarantee you somewhere in the mix of this stuff here, there is some really good gold to be found. Look at how dark this sand is right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. And you get down just a little bit and look how black it turns. Look at that. Just pitch black. We're gonna do quite well here tomorrow. I'm just gonna stick to my guns and I'm gonna work this deposit and not run up and down the beach like a, like a maniac. <laughs> So with that being said, me and Mrs. Wizard here, we're gonna start collecting cool rocks for her rock garden. She's already hard at it. And it's a beautiful day. So we're gonna go back to the camper, have a couple of cocktails. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. Back in a bit. It's time. Look who's ready to go. It's the rig bomb. <laughs> yeah, we're going, buddy. We're going. And the moose dog's ready, but <laughs> all right, we made it. It's noticeably less windy today. As you can see, there aren't huge waves crashing in the beach, and I can hear myself think. So we're getting set up on the beach up top there. Got a nice little blanket hanging in a tree for the gals to have a little bit of shade. And we're gonna get our equipment set up. I got it out of my backpack over there, and we're gonna start to run in.
Well, I'll show you guys a little trick. Now, if you don't feel like carrying a big tub out here to do your recirculating and all that other stuff, a simple pail will do just fine. You just take your pump, you fill your pail right up to the top, then you grab a clamp like such here. You just clamp that pump down just like that right there so it doesn't go down into the bottom of the pail. Then as the sand is going off of here, it fills up your pail, but you still have water running through your system. Now you're only gonna be able to use one pail at a time before you have to turn this machine off, in which I'll do a clean out, but that's just fine with me. This small mat, uh, I don't know if I wanna run three or five or whatever pails through there, one's just fine with me. So when this fills up with sand, I'll dump it, fill it back up with water, do a quick clean out, because I can clean this out in about 30 seconds, this mat, Pops right up and out of there, the silicone mat right here. Uh, you'll notice I do have a different configuration. Uh, I had some silicone mat up top and then my Devon Gold uh, VDR mat. Uh, it was designed for a gold cube, but I just couldn't get them to stick together properly. And it had a big seam right here and I didn't care for that. So I made this uh, until I get uh, something figured out with uh, that other mat. So that's what we're gonna do. There's my deposit right up here, just like the one we it's the exact one we went and found yesterday. There it is. Let's get to running. Those guys are looking for cool rocks for the beach garden or the rock garden at home. Gee, I wonder where they could possibly find cool rocks. <laughs> well, there's a couple. All right, enough Jack John. Back in a bit. And we begin. Yeah, that's lots of black sand in there. Down it goes onto my splash plate right here. That just slides right in and out of there, see that? That keeps it from pulling up on the very back of the, the sluice right there. And I can just see down in that in that sunlight area right there, the mats are circulating pretty good, exchanging the heavies for the lights, or vice versa, whichever you prefer. I've got this set at 10 degrees right now. I may put it down just a hair. So I'm going to run a little bit more of this through there. And we're going to do a little test. Run this pail through there and we'll see what it looks like in a pan. I got my big XP pan with today. And every time I make a beach video, somebody suggests that I try in the cobbles just away from the, the deposits of black sand. Well, today we're going to, and I have the perfect piece of equipment for that, a mini high banker. We're gonna test some of this area right here. As they say, the, the waves push the sand around and then the gold kind of stays with the cobbles. And if you'll notice that this band of cobbles right here is quite a bit darker than the cobbles right here. That stuff's heavier, which would make sense that there may be larger pieces of gold or even more pieces of gold in it. So let's test that right now. All right, change of plans. I've been running some of this stuff here. I've got, oh, I don't know, half of that pail run right now. And I did three or four test pans out of the material that I was feeding into my machine here, which I'm gonna turn off right now to save some battery. Okay. And I was only getting maybe two or three pieces in half a cup or so. I mean, it's, it's gold and it's a numbers game, I get it. But there's definitely better to be had, and I found it. This is from a half a cup right here. There's all kinds of pieces of gold in there. I'm guessing there's probably close to 15 pieces in there. There's kind of scattered all about in here and some are a little bit bigger than others. And I'll show you exactly where I got it. I'm looking down the beach here and I'm, I'm testing the cobble theory that, I, that, that some of the commenters uh, gave me. And I took a shovel out of here and there wasn't any black sand and I did do some panning out of there and I didn't find any color whatsoever. And I took a little sample out of right here because it looks like there's a little bit of residual black sand uh, in, in and amongst that stuff and I didn't find any in there. So I came over here and you can noticeably see that it gets really, really dark right there. So I took a scoop out of right where the cobbles meet this black sand deposit here, which is absolutely pitch jet black. Look at this stuff here. And underneath it is nice sized cobbles. And I took that out of right here. I scraped some of this gravel back and look underneath there. That's all black sand mixed with gravels underneath there. 
that stuff is exactly what I what I want I think so we're gonna shift gears a little bit I'm gonna fill up a pail of that and run that over my high banker that's right we found it all right let me do that I run a half pail of that and we'll see what it looks like back in a bit We've got that new deposit material all run. Now let's do a quick cleanup and uh, see what kind of gold's in it. Let me shut my battery down. I'll get this out of the way and dump it. About well, five eighths of a pail. <laughs> and I've got a pan of water right here. We'll grab my mat, give it a brief inspection, and we'll put it in my pan, just like that. And good to go. All right, let's see what's in that stuff. And the results, they are awesome. Look at the gold in this pan. Let me get my glasses off so I can see too. <laughs> there is gold everywhere. There is a lot of pieces and look at how big some of them are. That's half five gallon pail right there. And it's mostly cobbles. That, those guys weren't lying to me one bit. That is a pile of gold for half a pail. I don't care where you go. So guess what? That little shade blanket just turned into a tent because we're camping here now. Of course, I'll have to run that by the ladies. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to grind. Grind, grind, grind. The boys are up there in the shade, not grinding, but we're going to. We're going to run that battery dry. And I don't, know, I don't care if I got to run and charge that battery up. We're staying here over the night. Probably not. But we're going to grind. Back in a bit. Well, as we've been grinding away, we're building up a little hunger for a snack. You know what time it is, it's snack time. Let's see, we got an old bag of tricks here. We got some beef sticks, some meat skis, quality meat, mild beef sticks. Let's have one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they love beef sticks. They're hard working miners. How do you wash a beef stick down? For the PBR tall boy. I tell you what, every once in a while life throws a day like this at you. We're on the gold. <laughs> Perfect. Video update 17,412.19. Here's what I'm doing. I've determined that there is awesome gold right in this line here, right where the cobbles meet the this black sand deposit right here. It's super black right here. And then when you get over in, in these areas here, there's no black sand under this stuff. So the waves and uh, whatever must have been uh, coagulating in a way that 
deposited this black sand in these cobbles right here and it is just loaded with gold. I did a little quick test of like a three pail test but I did a clean out and it, it's unbelievable. And I do have my cleanup sluice and we're gonna do that back at the campground tonight. But I wanna show you what I've been doing now to make it a little more efficient. I'm just taking my shovel and I'm scraping that top inch or two of material off the top of this stuff, just like that. You can see I've been doing this quite a bit. Just like this here, it's just more less material I gotta carry over to the sluice. And then I just scrape that top inch, inch to two inches of black sand. See that? And I fill up another pail, just like that. This stuff, wait till you see the size of some of the pieces that I've been pulling out of here. It is gonna be maybe a record breaking deal here. Back in a bit. All right, we're getting ready to wrap it up here. Here's my last big full pail run here. And look what I see right there. That is a great big, huge, giant piece of beach gold right there. Man, we've just been on it all day long, all day. When I saw that, I knew it was time. <laughs> That baby is loaded. We've been pounding absolutely gold-laden material in there all day long. I've never been on a spot like that for this long ever. So I'm going to see if maybe Mrs. Wizard will let me run maybe one or two more. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm out of PBR. I just had to do a little quick peek here. <laughs> well... It's loaded, loaded, loaded. Look at that, couple of pieces there. Really, really nice. Let me see if I can get that in the shade here one time. Where's that sun? There we go. Look at that. Now, that was a really quick pullback. This stuff right here is just loaded with gold. So we're gonna go find some more PBR. He's ready. Back in a bit. All right, we made it back to the campsite. We've got our concentrates right here. And it's probably a full cup or so. I did do some panning out in the field, but uh, we were out of nutrients, so we had to make it back quick. But we are back and we've got my cleanup sluice uh, set up and ready to roll here. So we're gonna clean that stuff up right now and take a look at what's in it. And we're off. And I instantly see in that first scoop some really nice pieces of gold. Let me put that camera up there, see if I can get them before they disappear. Look down in there. Oh yeah, there's some really great pieces. And I saw a number of slightly larger pieces for a beach as we were mining today. So I'm gonna run a whole bunch of this through there. See if we can't really put something special in a pan we were on it back in a bit all right we've been running here oh running <laughs> i've got about three full teaspoons through the sluice now and it is looking really good look at the size of some of them pieces in there that is fantastic and they do they just starting to stack up in these drop riffles down here a little ways well that's that's your typical beach gold nothing's going to catch it all but this Devon Gold VDR cleanup sluice will catch in the 90s, that's for sure. Now I see gold probably right down to about here, which is about halfway. And usually I don't see any down in this area here when I'm done, so we'll see what happens when I'm done. But so far, things are looking really good. All right, it's really looking good. I'm gonna shut this down. Throw it in a pail, turn it back on just a little bit, do a clean out. Actually, gravity's doing it for me. There we are. All right, I've got all that material here in my lap and I'll use one hand and I'll just pull it back briefly here to see if we can see something good. 
I know we're going to. It's just a matter of, I want to see it now. <laughs> and we are starting to see a bunch of flower gold showing up here at the bottom. So I'll have to adjust my panning technique just a little bit. But look at there, showing up at that one corner. It's going to be one heck of a cleanup. But it's tough to do with one hand. It's going to take me quite a while because that flower gold does float down with the with this black sand as you can see so let me get this all panned up in a decent fashion and we'll take a look at it hey mrs wizard <laughs> boys are wrecked back in a bit all right let's take a little look at what we've got i pan that stuff out and it's looking pretty darn good there's plenty of pieces in there and look at the size of some of these pieces like right there that one there now I pan this back a little fast because I got camping and pounding to do, you know, PBR pounding. But I'll take that any day, all day long. I love the beach. Well, there you have it. Another successful day at the beach. Uh, we found a spot, we stuck to our guns, worked it a little bit, took a little advice from the comments, and we came out on top again. We just love the beach. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe, please do leave a comment, it helps build my channel. Flower Gold Wizards, oh.